I just want to sound different. Have you ever said that? I've said that. A uh, great way to sound different, to separate yourself from the other guy, if you want to, is to use a chord shape that is the foundation of all music, in fact. Before I tell you what it is, let's say somebody asks you to play a chord progression G, D, C. What would be your first tendency? I can tell you, a lot of guitar players might do something like this. And that would be wrong. I'm just kidding. That would be correct. Sounds great. If you want to expand your horizons, if you want to get away from that type of first instinct, then there's a chord I want to tell you about. And I'm sure a lot of you, if you've been watching my videos for a while, already know what I'm about to say. But the magic word is triad. Three notes. Major, minor, augmented, diminished. Those are the four kinds of triads. There are many different inversions of triads, but for the purposes of this lesson, I'm just going to demonstrate what they do, and if you want to learn more about them, then check out my course, Guitar Super System. There is a link in the description below, uh, or you can probably find a couple other lessons on my YouTube channel about triads. But basically, triads take the most important part of various chords, the most foundational elements, and they allow you to be more versatile in the way you deliver any chord progression. So, as you could hear, if anybody heard those, they would know you're just playing open chords, the chords we all learn when we first start playing guitar. And like I said, nothing wrong with that. But, let's say I want to take that same chord progression, G, D, and C, and play it using triads. What would happen? So as you can hear, nothing wrong with the basic chords, but also nothing wrong with triads, am I right? So I think that triads are a great way for accompanying guitar players, people who accompany songwriters who are playing those basic kind of chords. They're a great way to really add some depth and layers to a band situation, or if you're writing your own music and you're looking for multiple guitar parts, uh, triads are an awesome way to supplement an already solid foundation. So they can also be useful in just writing songs. And of course, there's many varieties of triads. I was just playing a couple string sets and that was all major triads. There's minor and then the augmented and diminished ones for tension and release type things. So there's so many situations where triads can expand the sound that you may be limited to with open chords. So consider checking out triads. Like I said, there's a few lessons on my YouTube channel here and also Guitar Super System is the course that I teach. It's all about building that foundation from triads all the way up to four part chords and learning how that translates to the major scale modes and arpeggios, both triad arpeggios and four part arpeggios. And most importantly, how to put that knowledge into your own guitar playing and become a more versatile musician. So guys, I hope you enjoyed this little tidbit of information. I think it's important. Triads, uh, I've had a lot of guitar teachers over the years. Every guy who I respected and learned a lot from, they all had the same thing to tell me. Everything starts with triads, from comping to constructing solos to writing songs. It's all about triads, so pretty important stuff. I appreciate you watching. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. I'll see you next time.